Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jacob Vial. A pretty different type of video today. My system behind me here, four 18 inch subwoofers and uh, the back area I'll show you also. I've got some big system updates, some channel discussion to do today as well as gonna do some demolition work. You're gonna see me tear out some of this wall today and some other build updates because I'm changing my whole system for 2023. Use discount code Jacob Viral to save when you shop at Sky High Car Audio, Explicit Audio, and others. Links in the description. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Trying something a little bit on a different pace level and a new project, so you got to stay tuned. A lot of newer viewers are watching that have subscribed. I think I got over 8,000 subscribers this year. Thank y'all for watching my daily card videos. Welcome all the new subscribers and some of y'all have been watching for so many years. I really appreciate it. Daily cardio videos I've been doing for over seven years. Looking forward to more to come. This year alone, I think I gave over 270 demos of my system. I've already done like 15 different cardio demo videos. Most of them are on the second channel. I'll be sure to put a link in the description for my second channel, Jacob Vile 2. Most of my system update stuff I post is always on the second channel just because I like to keep the content of the first channel, which is what you're watching, Jacob Vile, all about demo cardio videos in a different system every day. Anything from a small budget build to an insane system like I just posted. So there's so many to come. I've got over 200 systems left to post that you got to stay tuned for uh, by the end of 2022 and mid 2023 for the next six to seven months to looking forward to showing y'all so by the end of fall hopefully i have all of my videos posted so actually it's summertime sorry not fall i don't have that many but anyway this is my 418 system behind me uh, i've got a lot of build updates i've done so last year i had 418s on four sound cube 18s now i have four of the phi 18s i ran this year and i'm doing a completely different system than normal Three years ago, I ran a single 10 and a single 12-inch subwoofer build. I'm going to be going back to a no-wall style system. Don't know what I'm doing yet. You'll find out system updates on that later. But I'm going to be changing my whole system, doing demolition work in this video. You're going to see a lot of different changes. Um, and I'm going to be tearing out this whole wall. So be sure to follow me if you haven't already on my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Jacob Vile, as well as y'all are watching. Thank y'all for being my daily supporters, watching my daily cardio videos. So... Four, five, Neo 4.7 18s, taking these out. Uh, hopefully I'll give you a multiple system update videos as I go with the new system, doing everything myself. Uh, not the prettiest system by no means, but I'm happy with it. My last system, I broke uh, almost a 165 dB, which is this one I'm saying last because I'm going to something new now. So that's part of the system and channel update today. Thank you all for watching all of my videos. So many systems to come. I'm looking forward to showing you all for the next six to eight months. So I'm excited to see how things go, a lot of editing, and hopefully y'all are enjoying them. So let me know in the comments what y'all have to say about the system update, channel update, things you look forward to, anything positive or negative you want to say, uh, feel free. I'm looking forward to seeing all y'all's comments, but going to be taking this thing out today. Uh, not it's just so much work. I'll try to fast forward some of the video editing with things, demolition, taking out the wall and the tape and everything, but this system is coming out. So let me go ahead and show you the back real quick. So y'all can see how it looks. I've already taken out my amps. So previous video links in the description. You can see all the build updates I've posted for the last year and a half. You can see how things have progressed and how I got my build to where it is. And I've actually done three different wall builds in this vehicle. So this is my third and I've done a lot of different no wall builds. I say no wall, basically a no wall would be anything that's not walled right here. It would be something that's under window line or like a 415 inch setup. I've had a single 15, I've had a single 12, I've had a single 10. I've had two 18s. I've done a lot of different systems in this 2006 Ford Explorer over the years. Uh, it's definitely had some time in it. I've got over 60,000 miles on this vehicle since I bought it as well as probably 10 different systems. So I gutted my whole back end. Anybody that hasn't seen the videos, I definitely recommend you checking out to see how I did this. I did a seven part build series video list last year. Uh, it was like mid uh, June, May, June timeframe, 2021, where I built my whole wall. So let me go show you how it looks on the side panels for any new watchers. But that's how it looks on the side panels here all the way down. I literally optimized my space. I got around 75 cubes of net space in this enclosure of the vehicle to get there. And I'll show you the other side so you can kind of see how it looks. And uh, shout out to everybody that's been watching and supporting my channel for multiple years. And everybody that's new watching, welcome. Uh, this may be a surprise to some people watching. They're like, dang, Jacob, I didn't even know you had your own system and you're watching. So not the prettiest by no means, but I'm happy with it. Completely sealed. And the SPL score in this vehicle, 
I broke a uh, 164 dB plus on the glass, so I'll be sure to show you all those scores now. You can see that was the scores I had. It was like a 64.3 sealed on the glass, and it was a 64.7 uh, window down on the glass. So, but yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, kind of changing the pace for 2023. Uh, the reason I'm changing it is just to something different, more projects, and maybe I could do some uh, different types of uh, tests and tunes and a, a new challenge. So I've done a wall build for 2021 and 2022 for last year and this year where I had this whole wall that I built in here, and I want to go back to a no wall, and I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing how that comes for 2023 and going to be doing some video build system updates. You'll have to stay tuned. I'll post mostly on the second channel, Jacob Vile 2. So definitely check out the link in the description and subscribe to Jacob Vile 2 if you haven't already. Going to be posting a lot more demos as well. So I've got like four or five different demos I still have to post from previous shows that i got to share on the channel too. If y'all want to see how this thing sounds, I'm not playing it today. I already have the amps out as you saw back there. It's literally going to be gutted and removed and start from scratch. But it's same vehicle. So system update, changing it out to a no wall from my 418s. And don't know what I'm going to go with. But I'm happy I exceeded my goal. My goal was to do 63 dB plus on music. I was at almost a 64 dB on music with the power I have. My voltage was horrible too. I only have one alternator. My goal was to be able to do that with a fairly budgetable system. It's not a budget-friendly system. I probably have over, I'm not going to say, you got to go watch that video. Also, I did a cost breakdown. I put that link in the description too to see how much cost I have in this video. Uh, not video, this system. So you can kind of see how much money I spent on my system to get where I am. But uh, definitely not the prettiest build, but it's gutted all the way into the front there. So I took the seats out because it's going to be easier when I remove these panels. And you're going to see some of that demolition work now. I'm going to start undoing some things. And then uh, you just got to stay tuned for part two when I get more exciting news as I tear out this whole wall. So let's go ahead and get to it. Port roundover removed. Roof to baffle brace removed. Port dial in 2x4s removed. This actually helped me dial in my port area to fine tune it to around 88% port area right before the roundover. That was where I was loudest. Just removed my vertical and horizontal braces that were holding my box together. Honestly, I thought my box was solid before, but I added these two braces using a jack and some 2x4s to expand my box slightly and some wedges of extra wood since I didn't want to spend more money for my previous bracing uh, length. And I gained 0.6 decibels, literally almost uh, three quarters of a dB just by adding those two braces in. So brace your box. Even if you think it's solid, doesn't mean it's solid. You never know what it will help. It could actually increase your SPL score as well as maybe a little louder just by bracing your box. Any size box, not just a wall. Just removed all of my extensions to my pole bracings that were on all four centers. So that was just so I didn't have to spend more money to get longer metal flanges for my previous 415 inch build. So quick note, this is a 56 cube net space in the ported section alone. So this was the ported section where the port fired out here and then the sealed sections behind the subs. First front baffle of the loading wall removed. So I did actually add an additional uh, three quarter inch birch piece of wood in the front to reduce my cabin space by that three quarter inch, as well as I wanted to make my front loading wall a little bit more sturdy. All right, so I moved the final baffle before my two by sixes with my loading wall. I used two pieces because of the length from my door didn't fit with a single piece, so I had it spliced apart. And uh, definitely a lot of screws and tape over it. So anytime you build something like this big magnitude size of a system, always consider when you remove it, make sure it's something that isn't too hard to remove. So that's how we're looking. All right, so we're getting somewhere. Three of the two by sixes out. This last piece I have Craig jig screws all the way down on the other end. So I actually have to work this one out from the other baffle. But that's how we're looking. I'm actually able to visually see everything from the loading wall point now. Now for the subs. All right, so I've got one of the four subs removed. That way I can kind of see how it looks. So the subs look pretty much brand new still. I pretty much never clipped unless I was doing a burp. Subs are super stiff when I got the extra spider coil. These are the Neo 4.7s. 
but really amazing subs uh, definitely were great for this system so let's go ahead and look into this panel real quick so that's how it looks in my sealed section my sealed section is right at 2.7 sealed net volume per 18 inch probably could have gone a little bit smaller or bigger just depending on how it was for but my ratio is a five to one definitely excitedly happily with it and uh stay tuned for part two and three to come in upcoming weeks uh happy thanksgiving everybody and merry christmas if you're watching that around that time frame and uh stay tuned for more videos subscribe if you haven't and we're gonna go ahead and get to end this video on the system update for jacob vile 2023 system looking forward to seeing the uh, next system so next part thank you for watching everybody as well as thank you channel supporters if you want to become a channel supporter check out the links in the description to show support as well as thank you everybody for supporting the channel also if you haven't already use discount code jacob vile when you shop at sky high cardio explicit audio and others and also if you haven't already check me out i am on social media facebook instagram tiktok and youtube as you are seeing here go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already i really appreciate it and subscribe stay tuned for more daily videos and i'll see you all in the next one